Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about short treks right after this. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd. This is going to be kind of a short video because I have something else going on this week that you might be able to identify with. My daughter is getting married, my oldest, and uh, I'm uh, very excited about it. There's a lot of planning, there's a lot of work going into it, even from our side. So uh, I'll keep this one short. And uh, interestingly, it is about short treks. It's been announced this week that uh, there are going to be uh, more short treks than there were last time around. And this time there will be a couple of them that are animated and they will be um, mostly for a younger audience. Uh, first time that we've seen that they're going to actually aim some Star Trek material at a younger audience. It's something that there has been some criticism about, that they have not done uh, a great deal for uh, younger people. So there are going to be a couple of animated ones that um, I'm looking forward to. Uh, also, uh, the first one is going to involve Spock and number one, so uh, it should be interesting. Captain Pike apparently is not going to be in this, at least not in a big part, and uh, as they did in the previous short treks, uh, they're going to have small stories, which Kirchman has called a uh, experimental and not anything that has to do with the regular series and things such as that. That, of course, is a lie. Uh, in uh, just about every episode of Short Treks before, uh, they were a foreshadowing of something that was going to be happening in the series. The only ones that we have not really seen uh, worked in were the ones about Harry Mudd and uh, the one on the abandoned ship where um, the uh, computer uh, becomes more sentient. Uh, however, uh, I have a feeling that that may be something that we see in the second season. So that still may be coming up. So I uh, don't believe that any of these short treks are not going to have something to do with the larger show that's coming up. So uh, we'll be watching with interest to see what they're going to do with Spock and number one. And if there's some possibility that uh, we are going to see the Enterprise crew sometime in season three of Discovery. So uh, that is uh, what we have now. The cartoons uh, might foreshadow the uh, cartoon series that's going to be uh, either on CBS All Access or the one coming up on Nickelodeon. Uh, we'll see uh, what all this has as they reveal them to us. So um, uh, something to uh, keep us occupied. We also found out that uh, their plans on having new Trek shows start periodically is that they're going to have new shows year-round. Uh, they'll have Discovery and that'll be followed by the new Picard series and the Picard series will be followed by something in the summer. So we won't have these long dry spells between the 10 to 12 episodes that they do during uh, the fall and then uh, have to wait all the way until the next fall to see a new batch. So uh, this is a good thing that's uh, coming to us from uh, the producers of the new Star Trek TV series on CBS All Access. So I uh, want to know what you think about this and uh, uh, anything that you have to say about Star Trek or anything that we do on this channel, go down to the comments and do that. Also, if you've not subscribed or uh, have uh, hit the notification bell, please do that so you'll know when the next video comes your way. And uh, next week, uh, other news permitting, uh, we're going to uh, delve into uh, canon, do kind of a deep dive into that. So uh, we hope that you'll tune in for that. In the meantime, don't go far.